guys welcome back to my channel so today is kind of a get ready with me video this video is brought to you by baby trust so all right so baby trust they actually sent me this edge brush last summer so this edge brush so the baby trust edge styler comes in six different colors and it has it right here you probably seen me use it in some of my videos over the last year you have a brush end a comb end and then this pointed end right here. I'll go ahead and get started on my makeup because it's actually it's actually July 4th and I have about an hour or so to get ready. Okay, so for my primer, I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Matte, uh, matte Primer. Got a little chin here so I'm going to use my eyebrow razor to shave it off. So I'm actually going to show you guys how I tie my head wraps on. Even though I think I might wear a wig today, I'm still going to show you guys how I wrap, how I do my head wraps. The head, the head wrap that I have on right now is actually a pair of leggings. And I've been doing this for, I don't know, probably about a, a year or two. So I'm going to use the Crayon Case Chalk Dust Setting Powder in color C. And I'm just going to put that over my eyebrows just to kind of keep them from being so greasy. And I actually put it on my cheeks as well because that's somewhere I get oily. I'm going to start off by doing my brows and I'm going to be using my favorite brow product um for the last like six months or so maybe maybe less than that probably for four to six months um which is the precisely my brow pencil from benefit and i have it in the shade i think this is called warm brown it's 3.75 that's the color i use So that didn't take long at all when I'm doing my brows first of all what helps is making sure they're groomed ahead of time off camera I shape my brows up with just this eyebrow razor here and I concentrate getting the shape at the arch I don't really put too much product at the beginning of my brows Juvia's Place concealer in shade 13 and I'm gonna carve out my brows favorite brush to use to carve out my brows is the Morphe M124 brush. Looks like this. It's a great brush for carving out the brows. This dome shadow brush from uh, Royal and Lane Nickel to blend out my concealer. This is a really great brush for blending out concealer. on 
and this one is a little bit short, so I'm going to extend it a little bit. All right, for shadow, I'm going to stick to one or two colors, probably just one color. Um, because I'm like in a hurry and a lot of times lately when I wear eyeshadow I only wear like one or two colors and it looks like a full on you know look with just one shadow so I'm going to be using the matte the matte book from the crayon case all these shades are matte it has a really nice range of colors and then all these nice uh, neutral tones down here I'm going to use one of these neutral tones, probably this one right here. I'm going to put a little bit more concealer on my lid. So I'm going to take this. Royal and Lang Nickel Crease Brush. It's kind of got a pointed tip to it and it's very fluffy. So I'm just going to start packing that in my crease. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my lid as well. It's going to look sloppy right now, but we're going to go in and blend that out later. It's just a, a blending brush from Wet n Wild, and it has a little bit of color still on it from a different look that I did. But I'm just going to take that and start to blend out that harsh edge. So I'm just basically doing a wash of color on my lid. I do a lot of looks like this lately like over the last like six months or just 2019 I haven't been doing like hardcore eyeshadow looks with different colors and stuff I just think they take too long unless I'm doing like if I'm trying to do like a look for Instagram or something like that I just do like neutral looks lately because sometimes the really bright looks can clash with certain wigs but every now and then every now and then I'll do some brighter colors like I did that pink look with yellow in my inner corner I used that same palette this same palette for that look So I'm going to do my eyeliner real quick. I love eyeliner, but um, a lot of time my wings are not even. And I've been doing eyeliner for years. I'm going to set my liner with some matte black eyeshadow. I learned that from Alyssa Ashley a couple years ago. It helps um, with keeping your liner from you know fading so quickly it sets your liner. Okay so for my lashes I'm gonna be choosing a bold pair of lashes because this look for me is a very simple eyeshadow look so it can you know elevate this look a little bit more so I've got the hang of wearing lashes I used to didn't I used to stay away from them because they were so like intimidating um but recently I saw it's my Ray Ray on Instagram she applied her lashes in a in a totally different way than I've ever seen 
So she took her lash glue. I'm using the Dark Tone Brush On Adhesive Lash Glue from Duo. And she took her wand and she painted it on her actual like lid right here um, to apply her lashes. Now, I haven't had any issues with like my lashes coming out from doing this. I still have... I still have my lashes, um, but I've been doing this the last few times I've, I've worn lashes and it cuts down on um, the time it takes for me to apply my lashes. So she just goes like this or she went like this and just painted it on. I guess if you did a no eyeliner look, you would use clear. And I'm using Alter Ego from Bolt Face Makeup from both from Bolt Face Makeup for my lashes. These lashes are not going to be everybody's taste. I get it. But, um, I wanted something dramatic. Where should I go with those? I changed my mind on my lashes. I'm going to use Spice It Up because they're a little bit less dramatic. It's a little bit less, you know, drama. foundation I'm using the wet n wild photo focus foundation in toffee I actually think I could use cocoa now which is a shade darker than this but I don't have that so I'm just gonna use what I have on hand because this is kind of like this is like my winter shade so it's lighter this is not like a super full coverage foundation I used to I do have to color correct a lot of times when I wear this foundation. I'm going to be using this Eco Tools like powder brush. It's like a retractable one. Okay, for concealer, I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer in 13. Focus finishing powder and golden almond finish from Black Radiance, <laughs> and I'm gonna set the rest of my face. my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. I've used this for a year and a half now. This is in Molten Gold and I'm going to use that on my inner corner. Just putting a little bit of inner corner highlight. I just put some on the tip of my nose, pat it out just a little bit, and then I put it between my eyes as well. I've been doing this for the last few months and I like it. For lip liner, I'm going to use the Pladio lip liner in the shade Walnut. I'm going to line my lips. And before I do that, this area around my mouth that's where I get separating with my foundation. I 
off later but and on top of that I'm gonna use the crayon case uh, liquid lipstick and the shade Marie which is a nice kind of pinky nude blush balm in boomberry and I'm gonna use these two shades and they are very pigmented so I have to be very careful not to use too much So I did use too much, so I'm going to tone it down with my brush, with my sponge. Okay, so the face is done. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my head wraps. So I have on a wig cap. And actually, I've been doing this when I go to the gym as well because I really don't like wearing wigs to the gym because a long time ago when I was in college, I wore a wig and that comb on my scalp, you know, scratching my scalp and then all of that sweat you get in your head and bacteria can grow on that comb with all that sweat and everything. And so I got a scalp infection. This was like... Yeah, I got a scalp I got a scalp infection from that. So this time around, and that was like in 2011 when that happened, I think. 2011 or 2012. Whenever it was, I learned my lesson from it. So, um I prefer to wear head wraps. Um I would wear my natural hair out, but I think it's probably best to have your hair your head wrapped up so you don't have to when you're doing, you know, exercises on mats and stuff, your head's not on it, um, absorbing everything that everybody else in the gym has put on that piece of equipment. So I would prefer to use like a slap cap or a head wrap or something. So what I do is I get leggings and I actually wear these. If I'm not, if I'm not putting it on my head, I wear them like on my legs, of course. So. I would probably go with a size that's smaller than what you actually wear um, because the 1X, I wear 1X in leggings, sometimes it's too much material at the front, but this is how I do mine. Um, I do leggings and here's a head wrap, here's a head wrap right here. I have tons of scarves so I used to work at Gap a long time ago so I just collect scarves. So I used to collect scarves. And now that I don't really wear them around my neck, I wear them as head wraps. So I got this particular one from the dollar spot at Target, which is an infinity scarf. Um, I'll show you guys how I do this one real quick. So I just put it around the back of my head. I take the two sides and I just twist it. I usually wear all of my head wraps in the front. I do wear them in the back sometimes, but usually I just wear them in the front. So this is a smaller one here. I prefer mine to be bigger, but you can wear a smaller one. A small one like this would be cute with like, if you wore it with a wig. But I think the bigger ones are nice because they can stand alone. So this is how I do, before I do that, I'm gonna do my edges. The Edge Styler Edge Booster for my edges. Since I, you probably wanna do your, make, your makeup after you do your edges, but I'm just gonna clean them off, make sure they don't have any makeup on there. And I'm gonna bring them out a little bit. And this is some of the best edge control 
I've come across. So I'm just going to start putting some on there. And I'm going to use my Baby Tris Edge Styler. I'm going to use the brush end. And I'm going to brush my edges and swoop them. And I know everybody doesn't like baby hairs, but these are my natural baby hairs. And I think they, it's different sometimes than on a wig. And you're going to be wearing a head wrap, so you can be a little bit more dramatic with the baby hairs. Just swoop in the baby hairs. And my finger just helps with creating them. to my liking you can put on a scarf to kind of set your baby hairs or your edges and this is what I got going on here I'm gonna put the back of my leggings on the front and I'm just gonna start twisting it You can push it back so you can see your edges a little bit more. And then I'm just going to start twisting it. And then I'm going to just tuck it under. You can put some edge control on the back of your neck if you want to as well. I said I was going to probably switch to a wig, but I think I might just do this. Alright, so this is what we got going on here. And I think this looks pretty. So, when I'm wearing... I wear hoops all the time, but especially like with looks like this. Um, I'm going to be using these... My sheet in hoops. They're like thicker and they are big. And I think they'll complement this well. Okay, so here's the final look here with my leggings. Turn around so you guys can see it. So I wear this look when I'm doing errands, just working out, or today I'm going to my parents' house to celebrate, you know, 4th of July. So this is good for the summer, especially if you don't want to wear a wig, but you still, you know, want something going on. You can do a head wrap and it's going to be a very cute look. So um, here is the final look and I think the, ma the makeup look was very easy and so was this. So. If you don't, if you haven't tried like the leggings head wrap thing, you definitely should. Um, I saw some leggings at Dollar General that were like five dollars, and they had different patterns. So I think I'm gonna probably start collecting different leggings with different colors and patterns and stuff. Even if I don't wear them, they'll be nice head wraps. So um, shout out to Baby Tress for sponsoring this video. If you are interested in purchasing one of the edge stylers from Baby Tress. You can, I'll have a link down below where you can purchase it. I believe there's going to be a giveaway as well. All the details about the giveaway will be down below. Let me know down below what you feel about this makeup look and what do you think about this head wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed your family and friends 
on the holiday. So I will see you guys in the next video and make sure you have subscribed and make sure your notifications are turned on. Bye guys.